हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर विपिन बी गावंडे एंड वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स इन लास्ट टू वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर स्टार्टेड विद द रेडियल लाइन डेवलपमेंट मेथड एंड वी हैव सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द कोन एंड कोन एंड द हेक्सागोनल पिरामिड ओके नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वॉट इज मीन बाय दिस दिरामिड सो पिरामिड आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इट इज हैविंग अ सिंगल बेस एंड इट इज हैविंग द अपेक्स ओके the true shape uh, the name of the pyramid it depends on the true shape now here in in this case it is a it is a pentagon uh, so that's why it is called as the pentagonal pyramid the pentagon is having the five edges and all the corners of all the five corners of this penta uh, the base pentagon it is joins with the apex okay so that's why we got here the triangles so pentagon is having the five sides so that's why we got here five triangles so the true shape of this uh, pentagonal pyramid is a pentagon and the front view is what it is a triangle okay now we'll we'll uh, read the problem now the pentagonal pyramid of side 30 mm and height 52 mm it stands with its base on hp so the true shape comes in hp okay so that is here this is our vp here we'll get front view and here we'll get the top view always all the problems of the development is always starts with the hp we have to draw the true shape first and then front view and edge of the base is parallel to vp so this condition is given so this is our pentagon this is our the pentagon uh, this is uh, okay this is our pen, uh, this is our pentagon and the, the pentagon is having the five edges okay so and we call this as a base okay now the edge of the base is parallel to vp so we have to keep the pentagon something like this so that this base this base this edge is parallel to vp and the next condition is what it is nearer to it nearer to vp okay so this is the position we can keep this pentagon like this also this is also the correct position the edge of this the edge of the base okay so this edge is parallel to vp but now this condition the second condition is not satisfied it is not nearer to the vp but this edge is now away from the vp if we keep the pentagon something like this then in that case this edge of the base it is parallel to vp and it is nearer to vp also so this is the correct position of the pentagon okay so we will first construct the top view and the front view okay so we will start with the uh, the edge is equal to 30 mm so the reference okay so okay this is 30 now we know that the included angle in pentagon is 108 so take 108 angle okay here now this edge is also 30 mm okay and this edge is also 30 mm along the 1 108 degree angle okay now take the 30 mm distance in compass and then mark from here the intersection okay so we will mark sorry from here and then from here okay so we'll get this intersection okay now join this this edge also so it is something like this okay so we, we got the pentagon here okay so this this represent the true shape of the pentagon okay now in pentagon now uh, the when we draw the pent the pentagonal pyramid so pentagonal pyramid is something like this this is the base pentagon this is a b c d e and we have here the apex now this apex is joins with the corners of the pentagon okay like this now in top view when we look this pent base pentagonal pyramid in top view so this apex it comes at the center and all the corners joins with this this apex okay 
so the true shape is the top view is something like this so we have to find out the center of this pentagon how to find out the center of the pentagon suppose this is a b c d and e so to find out the center of the pentagon you take any two corners suppose i am taking the corner e now the opposite side is bc so you take the midpoint of this bc okay and then you join okay you join this line now you take the second corner so suppose this is a uh, or you take this is d opposite side is ab so you can take any two corners and the midpoint of the opposite side okay so this comes like this okay so we got this corner uh, this intersecting point so that is our uh, the uh, the position of the apex o now you join all the corners with this this common point so that represents our apex o okay so like this okay so this is our point o so see in top you also we get here five triangles one two three four and five okay so this is the true shape of the pentagon now we will construct its the uh, front view so front view the height is 52 mm so this is along the axis so this is 52 mm okay so i have drawn this line dark because this ob is coming along this uh, this uh, axis so this this line is dark okay the next projections are okay so this is a this is e then this is d and this one is c okay so this is a dash this is e dash this is b dash okay this is d dash and this is c dash okay now you join this line here so this is like this okay here like this and here like this okay now the height is here 52 this is our o dash so front views are denoted with the dash and the top views are denoted without dash so front view in case of the pyramid it is triangle and the true shape is pentagon since it is a pentagonal pyramid okay so this we have constructed now the according to the first sentence of the problem so pentagonal pyramid base 30 mm height 52 mm and the condition two conditions are given the age of this pentagon so age of the base so abcd is our base out of that ed is it is parallel to vp okay and it is nearer to vp so that condition we have satisfied okay now the second condition is it is in the, the sentence is it is cut by the plane perpendicular to vp we have to see what is the inclination so this is 40 degree to hp okay so angle the section plane it is making 40 degree angle and it cuts the axis 32 mm above the base okay so the cutting plane always cuts the front view okay in in, in our syllabus it is given so the, uh, the cutting plane must cut the front view only that is the the plane must be inclined to hp so all the cutting plane comes here only okay so 40 degree to hp and 32 mm okay the location the position is given 32 mm above the base so abcd is represent the base 32 mm above the base and then here we have draw the horizontal line to take the angle and then we will take here the angle we have to take here 40 degree angle so this 40 degree angle here and we will construct the cutting plane so the cutting plane is something like this okay so we have drawn the cutting plane now so this cutting plane is inclined here the 40 degree okay so 40 degree and this height is 32 mm so okay so we have taken this height is equal to 32 mm above the base okay so that we have drawn now the next step is to mark the intersection since the cutting plane cuts the now this is called as the slant edges in case of pyramid it is called as the slant edges so it cuts the slant edges now we will we'll mark the intersection on that slant edges so here here this is also the edge now so this is ob so this is we get intersection here here and here so now if one edge is one slant edge is there so one intersection if two slant edges are there two intersections so here in this case um, there are single slant edges are there so we'll get only one inter interaction on each slant edge i am taking alphabetically so o dash a dash so this is one 
after that i am taking directly b okay so b for b it is 2 for c it is 3 for d it is 4 and for e it is 5 okay so always take the in always mark the intersection alphabetically so for a it is 1 for b it is 2 for c it is 3 for d it is 4 and for e it is 5 okay so we are drawing that one okay so up to this it is clear now the most important part of this problem is we always draw this radial line development on the true length of the true length of the slant edge okay now how to get the true length of the slant edge so here this is o dash and c dash this is the extreme slant edge so how to identify whether this slant edge represent the true length if in top u if this o dash and c dash that is oc if it is parallel to xy then this o dash and c dash represent the true length of the slant edge now we will see in top u this oc is it is not parallel to xy so this o dash and c dash it doesn't represent the true length of the slant edge why because this oc it is not parallel to xy if this oc is parallel to xy then only this o dash and c dash that is our slant edge represent the true length of the true length of the slant edge okay so now how to get the slant edge with true length so we will make we will make this the uh, oc we will make this oc parallel to xy so you take o as a center c radius you rotate that one okay now make this o c here okay so for this is c1 so we have now make this oc parallel to xy okay now you transfer this c1 in the in the front view so that c1 comes here okay so this is our c1 dash now you draw this line o c1 dash okay okay o c1 dash now what this o, o, o dash c1 dash represents it represents the true length of the slant edge why because in top u this o c1 is parallel to xy so this is this is the most important part of this problem in this problem we are not getting the true length of the slant edge because that oc it is not parallel to xy okay that's why we have make that oc parallel to xy okay we have rotated this oc oc and we have make this uh, this parallel to xy then we have transfer that c1 in front view and now then we have drawn the new slant edge which is now represent the true length of the slant edge okay so this is very important now after that we have to take the now we have to draw the de the development using this new slant edge okay so i am taking here the parallel line now you keep your roller scale on new slant edge because that slant edge represents the true length of true length of the slant edge okay so here something like this so this is o and this is a okay now you take o as a center and a as a radius okay and then okay draw the arc okay now how many divisions for this arc so here we have pentagon so we will get here five divisions so this is one this is 2 okay this is 3 this is 4 and this one is 5 now join this join these divisions now this intersection now so this is 1 okay this is 2 okay then this is 3 here we have this 4 and this is 5 okay so this represents the the basic developments for the pentagonal pyramid okay so we get here five triangles okay so no, we are not uh, so here this is a this is b c d e and last is a now in case of this this pyramid i have already told you that at the bottom we got the the edges okay well, here five edges are there so we have to join this with the help of the line so so that this ab represents the edge then this bc represent the edge then this cd represents the edge ed represents the edge and e also represent the edge okay so like this we got here the basic developments of the pentagon okay so now the next thing is to transfer 
the intersections so we will transfer the intersections on the this slant edge so this is 1 okay then this is 5 this is 2 this is 4 and this is 3 okay so that intersection must comes up to the the slant edge okay so this is we got here 5 intersections okay so this is of 3 this is of 4 this is of 2 this is of 5 and this is of 1 now rotate these intersections so take o as a center then draw here the curves using all the intersections okay so this is the second one then this one is the third one we will take this as a fourth and this is the fifth one okay now mark the intersections now so one is on oa so okay so this is one here and this is one here because we have two oa so one and one goes here second the intersection is for phi u phi u is on oe so this is on oe so this is the this is phi u here okay oe now 2 is on ob so this is the projection of 2 so this is on okay this is 2 now 4 is on od 4 is on od so this is the projection so this is 4 okay now 3 is on 3 is on the oc okay so 3 is on oc so this is the projection of the 3 so this is 3 here okay now join these intersections so this one is 1 then this is 2 then this is here it is 3 then it goes to 4 then it goes to 5 then last is it is 5 to 1 okay now this is the intersection something like this okay so what we have done we have transfer all the intersections on our new slant edge then we are then we have we are drawn the r's now one is on o a one then two is on b okay then three is on c okay four is on d okay and then five is on e okay uh, so like this we got the development for this pentagonal pyramid curved by means of the the section plane inclined at 40 degree at a height of 32 mm okay so this is the development for this truncated penta pentagonal pyramid okay now this this condition is uh, the most important condition in this problem is the to find out the true length of the slant edge because in this problem the slant the in front view the true uh, the front view in front view the slant edge uh, doesn't represent the true length because that that edge in top view it is not parallel to xy so we have make it parallel to xy and then we have transfer that new point in the front view and then we have drawn new slant edge so th then on that true length of the slant edge th we have conducted the development okay now so construct the development and complete the problem okay so thank you very much